Why does your heart always knows best, especially when you are a queen of your own life? What I mean by that, have you ever caught yourself in a situation where you overthink and you just discuss one decision forever? Or you don't know if you should leave a man and you talk about him day and night, you obsess about him. Think, 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 talk, 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 and there is no end in sight. And I have been this way. And many of my clients that come to me, most of them are in this space too where they just overthink and this really creates anxiety to be in the space yeah so when you are overthinking you would never do a decision from your heart that would feel fulfilling why because when you make a decision from your head, it's a decision from logic. And it's good. Like logic is great. It, you know, it created, um, we created as humans so many things um, through logic and through our head. However, today, to be in a really fulfilling relationship, especially in relationships, we need to use our heart. And I know sometimes people rather say, yes, use logic than your heart. However, your brain is designed to keep you safe. So you might stay in an unhealthy relationship just because you feel afraid. You might think that, oh, yes, if I leave this guy, I will die. If I leave this guy, like I need him for my survival. Okay, so this is also the survival um, part of you, the anxiety where you feel like there's never enough money, no matter how much you have, never enough love. Okay, but when you connect to your heart, you would always know the right decision. And if you don't know right now what I'm talking about, then I really invite you to... Um, to listen to more meditations because when you're meditating even if it seems boring to listen to something like that you really connect to your heart and just witness your thoughts in your brain yeah you just witness it you don't let this brain run you okay it's just helping you sometimes in math class for example but you don't let this run you okay and um but let me give you some personal examples about this when i uh, was in my relationship that was six years long um i knew i need to leave this guy because my intuition my body yeah so when you're connected to your body and intuition knows that what's right or wrong it always knows it only knows love by the way and this guy cheated on me very early on and my brain was like he's such a good man he only did this because this and this and um like he was he was kind of good later on like see he's committed and he's very nice and blah 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 so my head told me that he's a good guy because he was later on and um i should stay plus my head told me if i leave I will not survive it. What's not true t either, but our brain, besides of thinking logically, can also create lots of fear. So it's even hard for me to admit, but back then I realized that I stayed in this relationship for survival. And only, and, and now this is really, really the funny, it's not really funny, it's funny to me now, but only when I got super sick, and my body literally fall apart. I had chronic disease. I couldn't eat anything. I was so exhausted and tired. My whole body got so drained because I didn't listen to my intuition. So guess what? Guess what? My body was like, okay, you don't listen to your emotional pain. So let me give you some 
body pain so that you start listening to me like my intuition was screaming so loud i didn't hear only when i started being sick i started to slowly listen and then i realized okay like for my survival i have to leave this guy like i tried everything and at the end i was like okay for my survival i have to leave this guy so that's that's not the space really you want to be in but i just didn't know better i didn't have anybody um showing me the way of being able to um listen to my intuition my gut feeling so when you would be my client and you ask me what to do i would always guide you to make your own intuitive decision yeah because this is the only decision that would fulfill me uh, ful ful fulfill you Anyways, long story short, I knew from the beginning that um, I knew from the beginning that that I need to break up with this guy because my intuition told me so, but I ignored it, and I paid the price. And the sad part about this is, I mean, you could ignore everything in your life and keep being in a job that you don't like, keep being with a partner you don't like, whatever it is. But the sad part about this is that if you're not connected to your intuition and to your heart and you don't act on it, then you are feeling lonely and disconnected. And I was feeling like this too, so lonely, so disconnected to yourself and to other people. Have you ever entered a room full of people and you felt so alone, so different, so disconnected? This is when you are living in your head. But when you're connected to your intuition and you just really feel your heart and you know and you will know what to do next and you will know that yes maybe if something like this happens like like the guy cheats on you you might leave and maybe your brain would tell you oh you might die maybe he is a provider and he supports you might die without him and your body will be like because we have three things mind soul and our body and your body would be like no you can't leave him you are attached because he is your partner yeah your body also uh, get attached to a, especially to a sexual partner because of the hormone oxytocin but your body will adjust and when you know how to handle your brain when you learn that you can only witness it in the same moment, stay connected to yourself, stay connected to your body, your brain can go crazy and you can still do the thing. And beside of the tools that you guys know from books and from other cultures too, of feminine masculine polarity, don't call, don't, don't text, be uh, in playful energy, beside of those tools, this connection to yourself and to your intuition is one of the biggest things I'm teaching my ladies in private coaching because this really f leads to a fulfilling life regardless if you have a partner or not this really feel um, this really gets you to be connected to yourself and this really will attract people around you that you will feel deeply in connection with, okay? Because you can inspire them to also up level to your level of just enjoying the moment, being in the moment, yeah? Because 97% of the people, they are in the head and they're in fears and having so many thoughts and all of that. But when you can learn to access your intuition, this will really make a deep, deep fulfilling relationship to yourself to others and to your romantic partner yeah because it's true the body chemistry sometimes does disappear after probably usually always after like three months six months so you know like the first the thing that you see when you see a person that's kind of handsome, you're like, oh, I like him. Like, he's handsome. But after three to six months, you'll be like, oh, yeah, that's him. But when you have this heart connection, 
you can have such a loving, fulfilling relationship when there's just acceptance and love and joy. Yeah. A completely new level of relationship. So fulfilling. No longer two people fighting because they are thinking this is how it should be. No longer, you know, control, criticism in a relationship. Because this all comes from the brain. But when you're connected to your body, you will only be available to men that also connect to their body. And this is why, this is why um, I was always sh sharing that men cherish your feelings and you respect their thought and lead. Because when you are the one who is connected to your emotions and to your body and he steps into your energy, he wants you to be all the time in good positive energy because he gets something out of that. He gets to be in his body, he gets to enjoy the connection. Yeah, he gets to be in joy and pleasure. Okay, so um, if you're interested in learning more about this, then DM me for a free love assessment call and really don't hesitate because I won't do them forever. And right now it's a good time to connect and um, yeah, let's see what's going on in your life and how I can help you in one, in one call. Okay, so if you like this video, then you, know, you can share it, you can like it, you can comment what have been your biggest takeaways.